I feel like there's a case to be made to abandon the term roguelike and finally give a real name to this game concept. To make sense out of what I'm saying, let me quickly cover some history, especially for some of the younger gamers out there. In 1980, incredibly over 40 years ago, and we're talking about the same year that legends like Pac-Man and Missile Command were born, video games were still very much in their infancy. This was still the arcade cabinet era, and there was another game that was published, but it was released for free on PCs. It was called Rogue, and Rogue was very different. Rogue was unique to everything else out there, but more importantly, it was unique to every experience that you played through. Pick up a green potion? Better drink it and find out what it is. Oops, I guess in this run the green potion petrifies you. Better luck next time. Any dropped items you could find could be secretly enchanted or cursed. Enemy spawns were a dangerous and lethal crapshoot. Rogue took skill and tossed it completely to the side, providing a huge focus on luck and chaos. It was the original losing is fun game, but decades ahead of Dwarf Fortress. It was also one of the very first games to incorporate procedural generation in such a featured manner, and it was obviously something incredibly special. In the years that followed, especially since it was released open source, there were thousands of developers all over the world working on the first true roguelikes. I should also mention that this is before the internet. A lot of effort from developers went from changing Rogue from an ASCII-based game into something more graphical, but holding true to the core gameplay and concepts of the original. So when the term roguelike was coined, this is what was originally being referred to. I think it's important we pay homage to games like Rogue, which literally changed the gaming culture. But our modern efforts, we've gotten so far from Rogue that these games are no longer actually like Rogue at all. Remembering that the original game was an open source project that had a lot of variants, over time, less of the original code was left in the projects that branched away. And technically, you could argue that each of those became less and less roguelike as well, but I wanted to draw more attention to how the tag is being used in modern gaming. When we've reached a point where roguelike becomes roguelite, I think even the developers realize that the tag doesn't really apply anymore, and we're really just talking about procedural generation, or an extra layer of challenge, or short runs. But if it's not really like Rogue, the tag doesn't really apply anymore. I don't necessarily know that this issue is a problem, but I do know that it'd be weird if your favorite first-person shooter was called a Wolfenstein-like, which was the first of its kind. The gaming industry is all about innovation and building on the shoulders of the ideas that came before you. And there's nothing wrong with giving some credit to Rogue if your game was inspired by it, but if your game's nothing like it, it's a little confusing. I think the easiest solution is just awareness. I'm going to include a link in the description for NetHack, which is the game that you've been seeing here. Uh, you can download and play that for free if you want to experience a classic. And once you do, it's easier to see how few of your roguelike games are actually roguelike. I could be completely alone here on my weird little soapbox, but if you also have an opinion on the topic, feel free to throw it in the comments below. And let me know if you like or dislike the video with the buttons. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.